So we're going to make up some data for the next one. <coughs> okay. It's a good day for you, hon. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you just get a different one out. You're like, well, maybe later. Maybe when they're all on the floor, I'll pick them up. <laughs> okay, you're going to want four columns for this one. And let's do five rows. Ooh, a real straight line, Laura. Okay, here's going to be my classes and my frequency. My classes are 0 to 1, 2 to 3, 4 to 5, 6 to 7, 8 to 9. What's my class width? 2. Because there's two numbers in each class. Also, if you think about jumping on the left, do you see how they're jumping by 2? Okay, that shows you that the class width is 2. All right, um, let's say that this is a table about how many tattoos the teachers have. Now, um, who wants to give me a lie number? Anybody want to make up some data for us? Okay, so Carter's going to do it. I like you just picked yours. Eight. How about eight? Um, what I'm going to have you do here is we're there are about 30 um, educators in the school. And that's including like uh, paras and stuff like that. Um, you can decide that you want to completely make up this data and have it be completely false, or you can really take a good stab at it. We're never going to know if you're right. Um, how many teachers do you think fall in the zero to one category? Again, you can totally make this up if you want to. Five. Five. All right, so we got five. We're going for 30, though. That is, that is important. Okay? Two to three? A good old, this is a good old three. <laughs> they have quite a lot of teachers left. All right, uh, four to five. Mm. It's probably a really accurate data set here. Carter, six to seven. And we're about to ten. Oh, we got ten. Ten here. And then ten on that one. Okay. Now, if I was asked to find the, and like, let's pretend this data is real. Um, if I was asked to find the average number of tattoos a teacher has, do you see how each category isn't weighted the same? There are some categories, like these bottom two categories, which are way heavier than like this category, that four to five. Does that make sense to you guys? Now, on the last thing on a weighted mean, we multiplied a data point times the weight. This now, the frequency is essentially the weight. And the classes are the data point, but we need one data point, not a class. So what number do you think we can pick to be representing of, representative of that class? 30. 30? No, I'm talking about like of this class. Like what number should we pick? Should we pick 0, 1, or something else? Which class do you want? Yeah? Oh, you would pick the one that's in between those two numbers. Right, right in between the midpoint. So we're picking the midpoint. My bad, guys. <laughs> Tegan, we're not picking the midpoint, okay? We're picking the number in between those two numbers. Otherwise known as the midpoint. So, <laughs> which is 0. 0.5. Um, you can, uh, I mean, it's pretty easy to figure out what is exactly between um, 2 and 3. Um, but, like, let's suppose it was something like 47 and 182, which isn't obvious what's between the two of them. Don't try to figure out in your head, Ryan. 
<laughs> Ryan's like, well, I'm not obvious, huh? I'll spend the rest of class thinking about it. Show you. Ryan uh, definitely would do that. Yeah, he would. Um, 2.5. <laughs> Just 10 minutes later, Ryan's like, 113? <laughs> I'm like, all right. That's... Is it really? Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, 4.5. Uh, 6.5 and 8.5. Those are my midpoints. And then for this category, it'll be X times W. We're multiplying them together. Um, so fill those in quick. Anybody start typing in 10 times 6.5? And then was like, no, oh, it's 65. Okay, now we're going to add them all up. <laughs> uh, I accidentally multiplied them all. <laughs> I was like, what do these add up to? Okay, 15 million. <laughs> nope. I got 169. Hilarious. Now, does that make sense that the average amount of tattoos that the staff would have is 169? Oh, okay, all right. So, assuming that we're not joking, uh, which is very hard to tell in this class, uh, it is not reasonable because um, the highest number possibly on this chart is 9. So it's definitely somewhere between 0 and 9. So which we do, Tegan? Oh, nice. Divide. Divide by 30. You're right, but I really thought you were raising your hand. I wasn't just calling you out because <laughs> you're sitting there doing this. Turns out she's just reaching, <laughs> stretching out your shoulder. So you got to divide by your total over here. And remember that the reason why we didn't do that last time was because those per are you listening to me? The reason why we didn't do it last time is because the percentages added up to one already. 5.6 tattoos for this fictional staff that Carter made up. Yeah. Obviously, this staff is, I would say, way cooler than us. Um, I don't even have one tattoo, and I wish I did. Okay. So, um... Next, we have shapes of distributions. These ones are already uh, written out. Um, you got a symmetric distribution. Um, notice that, do you see that the symmetric distribution, does it look exactly the same on the left and the right? No. no. Symmetric also doesn't have to mean a bell curve. It just means it looks approximately the same on the left and the right. It could even be like this, where you have like kind of like this. And then, like, very little in the middle. No. No, these aren't quite the same height. Pretty close. But not quite the same, just a little bit altered. Also, a uniform distribution. You might have some that are slightly um, off. Um, and it would still be considered uniform because they're pretty darn close. Um, this would also be considered symmetric. This beautiful drawing here of some messed up looking wolf teeth um, would also be considered symmetric, even though it doesn't look like a bell curve because it is approximately the same on the left side and the right side. Okay. Um, this one down here on the left is a skewed left distribution. Remember that they call it by its tail. Um, sometimes they will call this a left-tailed distribution. Write that down. The tail is where the data kind of peters out. On this side, the data is petering out on the right, which is why this is a right-tailed distribution. Page 3. A lot of information at once, huh? Sure. Now we're at 2.4. All right. Michael, what is a range? It's uh, the biggest number subtracted <laughs> from the smallest number. It's the biggest number or the highest number. 
write the word minus. Don't write the symbol for minus because that might look like you're going to write two numbers with a dash between them. It is one answer. It's the biggest number minus the smallest number.